I just got back from another trip to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I'm going to tell you all about it and show you what I got today on Darth Rage Reviews. <laughs> Reviews, your source for the Force? Nah, for the Republic! Greetings Force fans and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. So I just got back from my home away from home, it's my yearly pilgrimage to the House of the Mouse. We went to Disney World. So this was a special trip for the family. This was my daughter's uh, high school graduation trip, the last kind of big family trip before she goes off and starts her college life and the rest of her life. And so it was a, it was a big trip for us. Um, and it was, you know, a whole lot of fun as it always is. Uh, and managed to go to all the parks and went several times to Hollywood studios. And of course I enjoyed it all. However, asterisk. So after several dozens, dozens upon dozens of trips to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, uh, I, I do love Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but man, there are just so many missed opportunities. Um, the fact that Walt Disney World is still locking this into the sequel trilogy time period. Uh, you've got so much potential, so many characters that you can have out there if you weren't locked into that. Um, just the, the dearth. Of character. I mean, there's just like, when we went there this time, never saw Kylo, never saw Rey, saw Stormtroopers once. With the amount of money people are paying to go there, you should have that place crawling with Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are easy. That's just a dude in a suit. Uh, you should have a Kylo out constantly, constantly. You need to give these people this. Chewbacca should be out there frequently. Um, I understand Ray. That's you know a different character, look-alike kind of thing. That you know may be an issue, but it, it just so much potential uh, that could have been there that isn't. You know, on my dozenth trip, I just kind of walked through like, eh. Um, so you know, I feel like I don't want to dissuade anybody from going, but uh, it has not held up to repeat visits. You know, at least for me personally. Um, while we were down there this time, though, we did get to ride Star Tours and the new Star Tours. It's great. They kind of pull you out uh, into the Purgle. Uh, and you get to fly them on the whales, uh, the space whales. So that was cool as well. Um, of course, Road Rise, Road uh, uh, Millennium Falcon. Uh, did it all. Did it all. But it was a good trip. And it's not a trip to Batu if I don't come back with some type of spacefaring souvenir. So what did I get this time? So this time I picked up the Sith Holocron. So this comes in two different versions and it's kind of like a mystery box. So it'll come in this large stone looking piece, which I think I'll weather this. I like that box. That's a good looking box. So it comes in this large stone thing and, and you don't know which one's inside. There's two different versions. There's a white version and there's a black version. From what I understand, the black version is the less uh, common one so that's kind of the one that you're wanting to get but you get both versions uh, or you could get either version I got the white version so the Sith Holocron is cool in that it works with the kyber crystals that also work with the lightsabers also work with the holocrons so it's a neat interactive toy souvenir that really isn't that expensive um, the holocron itself I think was 50 bucks and these run you right around it's like 15 or 20 dollars for the kyber crystals uh, they do have new holocrons and new kyber crystals, but these work with, these are the old kyber crystals that I have, and these work with those. So the Sith holocron comes in two separate pieces. So you've got the holocron itself and then this little wayfinder piece here. Um, plug that in, and then if you put that on this side, you see it kind of lights up and it makes that little noise. So then let's say you want to learn about a different planet. So let's take the red kyber crystal that I have. So you set, let's set this up here so it's a little better view. You set the kyber crystal at the base there. And you see, it gives you a point and it's gonna guide you to Mustafar. And then it'll give you a little description here. Takes it a second. Mustafar 
as a bleak world of stark black rock and bright lava seas that occupies an unstable orbit between two massive gas giants deep in the outer rim. Very cool, very cool. So it shows you, you know, you've got the map now to Mustafar. So let's say we don't want to do that. We want to learn a little bit about, and there are different, you know, green kyber crystals. For, there's one for Luke, there's one for Yoda. Uh, so depending on the kyber crystal, that will give you the different planet uh, that you have. So here. Once again, it goes through all this and then it starts searching space. To find the location. And I didn't actually know which kyber crystals I had before I did this. I didn't know, you know, exactly whose they were. I guess I didn't pay attention because the voices when I put them in the wayfinder were the same. So let's see where this is. An uncharted world deep within the outer rim. Dagobah is a swampy planet teeming with plant and animal life, making it a wellspring of the living force. A wellspring of the living force. So you get the idea. Very, very cool prop, toy, souvenir uh, that you can get for under 100 bucks. Um, that is the one good thing I still have to say about Galaxy's Edge is that they do have some really cool really affordable props uh the droids super cool the cam tono that i've got down there super cool it's like 70 bucks the droids 99 dollars. i would avoid the lightsabers just because you can get better lightsabers elsewhere however the lightsaber building is a cool experience um, but you can get a lot of really cool star wars themed souvenirs for you know some of them 10 bucks 15 bucks you can get the binders that i've got back here $20. I mean, there's a lot of really cool souvenirs there that are affordable. I mean, you would think that they'd be expensive being at Disney, but they're not. So, got myself a Sith Wayfinder. Look for this to show up in some Kylo videos. I mean, he's he's a big fan of the Wayfinder. Of the Wayfinder. Um, very pleased with the Sith Way Wayfinder. Not extremely pleased with Galaxy's Edge in general. But, again, don't let me dissuade you. Please, if you haven't gone, go make your own decision. For me, it's starting to lose its luster. But, really good prompts. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. Give me a subscribe. If you like this, you're going to like my other videos. I promise you. As always, y'all, I'm Darth Rage. This is Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master.